believe the Holy Ghost is and he rewards you what are you serving him for for the abundance of all things Holy Ghost your God in the earth today Holy Ghost your God in the earth today the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw. Father Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time Jesus here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, the then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, I desire to speak from a certain place. The place where the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words. Now, I can't always speak from this place because certain people won't go there. So that limits you in your ability to say things. Does this make sense? Yes. But like it or not, I'm sowing seeds. Holy Ghost seeds. These seeds will go down into you and push out the old. You can't continue here with me and not be changed and not enter into the new the new way has come listen the new way has come the old way has passed Amen. you must embrace the new the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. as God in the earth today and you walking with him that's it get it straight a lot of people don't have it straight you haven't worshiped the Holy Ghost enough until you realize it's just him and you that's it the Holy Ghost and you and if you don't know the meaning of what I just said you haven't worshiped him enough to get there and I speak from this place the room of Holy Ghost only now I know that sounds strange but it's really not how many Holy Ghosts did Jesus send in the earth to be with you one, one two how many one. one Holy Ghost there's only one Holy Ghost mm -hmm. if Jesus sent him and we all agree that he did where is the Holy Ghost then here in the earth Jesus sent him if Jesus sent him where is Jesus not here Holy Ghost and you in the earth get that straight if you don't have it straight you won't be able to hear the things I'm saying this evening but here's the deal it's the Holy Ghost as God in the earth and you walk with him say it's the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. As, God as God in the earth, in the earth. And, I and I walk with him now if you've embraced that you understand that right mm -hmm. that's not so weird but if you've embraced that I can begin to help you understand him more and in a way that you didn't know him before mm -hmm. because you don't know him this way deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 47 because thou servest not the lord thy god with joyfulness mm -hmm. and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things you are to serve the Lord your God the Holy Ghost God in the earth today for the abundance of all things say the abundance, the abundance of, all things. of all things of all things and if you don't listen if you don't then that leaves room for the curse and for the want of all things now Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says 
for he that comes to God must believe that he is and we just talked about who he is and where he is mm -hmm. you believe he is and they and, and and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him mm -hmm. you believe the Holy Ghost is and he rewards you what are you serving him for with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things mm -hmm. say I serve him, I serve him. With, joyfulness with joyfulness and gladness of heart, gladness of heart. For, the for the abundance of all things all things, all things in abundance yes. are you here yes. this pleases him mm -hmm. if you don't you're not pleasing him you're not serving him mm -hmm. well I serve him for the abundance of all things and we're not taught this are we in fact we're taught the opposite mm -hmm. don't ask for anything don't expect anything from God then if something shows up you'll be happy with it doesn't sound like what we just read no. that's not pleasing him because you serve him for the reward man I tell you I could go off on this so many of the preachers are preaching that you don't serve God for the reward then you're not pleasing him he tells you to serve him with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things and if you don't you're gonna be in some religious gutter somewhere wondering why Deuteronomy 28 verse 13 and the Lord thy God shall make thee the head and not the tail and thou shalt be above only say above only, above only. thou shalt be above only say above only, above only. who's making you above only he is if you're serving him for the abundance of all things he makes you above only did he stutter when he said it no. well then why are you the Lord my God makes me above only and not beneath the beneath is anything other than above mm -hmm. how is it is this really that difficult what makes it difficult is trying to put this into the religious garbage you've been feeding on for years mm -hmm. that religious garbage did not come from the Holy Ghost stop eating it mm -hmm. this comes from the Holy Ghost he's not a religious garbage God yeah. he's above only Amen. and not beneath you serve him for those things that he has and that he is let's read on there and the Lord shall make thee the head not the tail above only and not beneath if that thou should hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God which I command thee this day to observe and to do them verse 14 and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words how about those words are people going aside from it oh yeah he built their whole religion on some different side not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods and serve them this is where the Lord your God the Holy Ghost is he's in above only and not beneath mm -hmm. if you go anywhere else you're going after another God are you here yes. I'm trying to help you know something about the Holy Ghost that you didn't know before say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is, above is above only and not beneath, and not beneath. is that too difficult no. don't go after other gods you're serving him for the abundance of all things mm -hmm say I'm serving him, I'm serving him for, the for the abundance of all things, of all things. and that pleases him yes. not doing that doesn't please him you're not really serving him well he is the holy 
ghost he's not poor there is no poverty in him well I want to present to you holiness in a different light now don't get religious on me holiness in a different light because people have holiness all wrapped up in their ridiculous religious thinking mm -hmm. holiness is just freedom from corruption purity in its purest sense James chapter 1 verse 17 every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning who is that good and perfect gift that came down from the father of lights the holy ghost, the holy ghost. he's good he's perfect there's no ungood in him there's no lack of perfection in him everything he is is good and perfect and then it goes on to say with whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning all one way all the time always prospering abundance of all things John 1 5 says God is light and in him is no darkness at all god the holy ghost is light and no darkness at all say no darkness at all no darkness at all that's holiness of light are you here god is prosperity and in him is no poverty at all god is healing and health and in him is no sickness or disease at all none zero no shadow of turning he doesn't turn from it this is the god we serve with joyfulness and gladness of heart why are you not glad holiness is purity freedom from corruption freedom from contamination no darkness no poverty no sickness what should you be saying no poverty no sickness right are you here he's the holy ghost am i so i'm trying to drive this home he's the holy ghost he lives in this space of holiness that's the one you're living with and should be knowing better i like to think of holiness like the temperature absolute zero that's very cold right. what that is is the absence of heat you have something let's say you take some water and you extract some heat from it and you extract some more heat from it it's called entropy and at, at some point you can't extract any more heat from it and it is as cold as can possibly be there's no heat in it say there's no, there's no heat, heat in it yeah. that would be holiness of cold the holy ghost mm -hmm. he is holy there's no shadow of turning there's no poverty in him there's no darkness in him there's no sickness in him are you here mm -hmm. serve him for the abundance of all things can you start to see now who you're serving is there any value to it to knowing him and walking with him mm -hmm. by speaking in agreement with his words yes. above only say above only, above only. Not, beneath. not beneath does that sound different to you now say above only, above only. Not, beneath. not beneath above only is holiness if you're above only say only 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 is holiness yes. believe that he is and that he rewards you first peter 1 16 says be ye holy for i am holy 
who's holy the holy ghost you know that's his first name right the only ghost he's the only one in the earth today he's the only holy ghost are you getting this thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve only shalt thou serve you serve him with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things all things only now your fundamental note is wealth get this straight fundamental means relating to the foundation central component of a system that's the fundamental your fundamental is holiness with him jesus considered himself rich what yet yeah, jesus considered himself rich he saw himself as a rich person i won't go into it but he was he was buried with the rich it is death he considered himself a rich person the disciples considered him a rich person his fundamental note was wealth jesus and i know a lot of people have a, a problem with the rich jesus matthew chapter 26 verse 6 now when jesus was in bethany in the house of simon the leper there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment expensive mm -hmm. and poured it on his head as he sat at meat he didn't say anything did he mm -hmm. it's like no problem mm -hmm. this is normal but when the disciples saw it they had indignation saying to what purpose is this waste for this ointment might have been sold for for much and given to the poor the disciples didn't see jesus as poor are you here mm -hmm. or they would have said oh it's a good thing you gave it to the poor <laughs> verse 10 and when jesus understood it he said unto them why trouble ye the woman for she has wrought a good work upon me this is good mm -hmm. for you have the poor always with you but me you have not always jesus said you have the poor with them always but him say but him. but him that's separating himself from those who were poor mm -hmm. he was not the poor are you here yes. jesus didn't see himself poor the disciples didn't see jesus as being poor his fundamental note was not poverty if you rang a fundamental note it would begin ringing and other things would vibrate that have that same note are you here yes. and i'm not talking about vibrations <laughs> i'm saying your fundamental note that's on you is prosperity it is wealth wealth and riches be in your house if you were to strip away the chaff that's on the outside of you and put you in heaven you would be walking on streets of gold and it wouldn't be a problem but because you're here all wrapped up in this religious garbage you think your fundamental note is something different no you are wealthy you walk with the living god who is the wealthiest being in the universe don't associate with being poor or poverty is that what the holy ghost did no no shadow of turning he when he came into the earth he didn't turn from what he was some of you are getting it the fundamental note in you rings wealth proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the lord makes rich the blessing of the lord of spirits the blessing of the holy ghost who is the spirit lord makes you rich what's the next words and adds no sorrow with it what's that holiness it is rich no sorrow added say rich, rich. No, sorrow added. no sorrow added that's the holy ghost those are his words why would he say it that way he has to say it that way 
this is how he lives this is what he says this is what you should say if you're gonna walk with him I'd rather walk with the poor Holy Ghost well then go and do it quit bothering me but I'm not I'm gonna serve him for the abundance of all things did you hear that yes. that's where he is that's where I'm attempting to speak to you from a place of holiness yes amen only healed only rich only blessed above only Holy Ghost only that's your fundamental note holiness be ye for I am you having fun with this yet oh, I've never heard anything like this before I know we've heard the complete opposite of this over and over and over and over again Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord without this message of holiness that I'm talking about tonight you won't understand him or be able to see him but listen with holiness with this message and knowledge of holiness you shall see him you shall walk with him you shall know him in a new and living way and be above only not beneath the head and not the tail serving for the abundance of all things onlyness i don't even know if that's a word well it's a word now onlyness i serve the holy ghost in onlyness sickness can't get a foothold in you can it poverty can't get a foothold in you ha 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 i serve him and all these things come with it yes. i'm not worshiping money i'm not worshiping youth i'm not worshiping health we see people doing that right out there worshiping health i got a jog i'm not saying anything against jogging don't write me nasty letters i'm not worshiping any of that stuff i worship him the holy ghost and serve him for the abundance of all of his things Amen. they're added to me right. onlyness have you heard that the angels say holy 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 non-stop for eternity holy 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 his glory fills the earth say holy 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 his glory fills the earth, glory fills the earth. when you see him and who he is you say holy holy too where'd you get this revelation from i've been there i've experienced his holiness and i knew it wasn't just holiness and the piety of piety it's perfection no sorrow added wealth no poverty at all <sighs> the church has been religiously blocked from seeing and knowing him in this way therefore they can't go here but you can and you are thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve for the abundance of all things thank you holy ghost that your blessing is on these people no sorrow added and they shall be risen up says the spirit lord in this last day is a great people mighty on the earth like the prophet joel said and they shall be strong and nothing shall stop them and the glory of the lord shall rest upon them glory that has not been seen even till now for this is the last day when the great people shall rise up in the name of the spirit lord and take over 
and be the head and not the tail above only and not beneath and then shall the Lord Jesus return we thank you Holy Ghost for it we're willing to be those people and we worship you in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hands say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. you are a God of wealth and I worship you and I serve you for the abundance of all things this pleases you and you reward me I thank you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Your God.